It's a talk to Miss Ayers, the pretty coach, the pretty coach, Amy May, and the pretty teacher. And I'm coming to do a reading on the case of Carly. I can't remember her last name right now, but I normally do not do this. I only do stuff like this if I am called or compelled to, okay? So I was sitting on TikTok and like scrolling and stuff and her case came up and I was just blown away by it. It bothers me, I'm not gonna lie. But I was, I have to say, I wasn't, I was frustrated. I vented my frustration, but I was gonna move on, okay? Unfortunately, because we hear about this so much, but I started looking a little bit more into her case, not too much, but I noticed something dealing with a red Mercedes. And this is where it hit me and like I feel very emotional right now and I'm kind of shaking because about a month ago or maybe two months ago now, I was in meditation and I I wrote something down. It was channeling messages. I was channeling them and I wrote them in my tablet and let me just get to it because I don't want this to be too long and drawn out. I highlighted some key points here because this is really what's motivating me to do this. Okay, aside from the fact that this is just tragic. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the date that I got all of these different channeled messages is May 30th, okay, um, of this year. So I got a whole bunch of different messages that day and I didn't know necessarily what anything was pertaining to and I just knew that in time things would be revealed. Now I cannot lie to you guys, this message I initially felt like I was getting connected to something totally different, okay? But this is what's motivating me to go ahead and do this reading because of this element right here, the red Mercedes. So when I read about a red Mercedes, immediately it triggered me to remember that Spirit had told me something about a red Mercedes during meditation. So that's why I'm coming to do this reading today. And I just hope and pray that Spirit be with me as I know that they are already with her no matter what the outcome is. All right, Spirit, I'm asking for accurate messages and let me clearly articulate them now for those who might be curious and who just desire to know what's going on and we're not getting the assistance from the places that people would expect to. Give us the truth, straight no chaser. So be it and so shall it be. If there is any type of, you know, element to this that will be obviously tragic, which is already tragic, I do not wish to bring more hurt or harm or confusion. I only wish to bring light and that's what I'm asking to be a vessel of at this time. And I mean no disrespect to her family. Please excuse any noise you guys may hear. I do live in an apartment complex, so, you know, it could be anything. I'm just shuffling all the decks that I feel led to use, okay? So, my question, I just, I don't even know what to ask. I don't even know where to begin. Spirit knows what. Spirit, I would like for you to accurately show me what has happened to Carly at this time. Remove any bias, remove anything that I may feel that I'm aware of or what have you, and just show me what has happened to her at this time, please, and thank you. Only allow for truth to come forth at this time. All right. Allow all of my gifts to come forth, spirit, and be used to give insight straight from on high. Okay, where did that card just fly to? 
here it is so the first card out is the fourth chakra archangel Raphael Hostilities and storm warming are the next cards. Storm warning are the next cards that came out. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. That's the heart chakra. Hostilities and storm warning. Okay, so I feel door to value, you guys. Door to value is here. Just bear with me as I try to pick up messages. All right, guys. So I definitely feel that something is connected to money here. Something... I also feel like with Archangel Raphael, I was hearing that Archangel Raphael, I believe, is an angel who could be able to assist with restoration of items that have been lost or people who have been lost or healing and stuff like that. But, and this is all just intuitive, you guys. Once I finish with this reading, I'm definitely going to look more into Archangel Raphael specifically. Um, oh, God. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel bad. I feel bad energy here. I feel with the hostilities card and the storm warning card, I feel that something big is going on here. Maybe something bigger than what, than what we know. There is something that's going on here. There's an air of heaviness. I feel like this is like a warning of some sort somehow this is just the beginning of something alarm bells it's giving me alarm bells the sound of alarm and with this Raphael the green the heart chakra it's like it makes me feel like she could very well be a very kind-hearted a kind-spirited person and ultimately, this is something that, you know, it's something that has led to what the hostilities or whatever. Oh, God. With the door to value, There's something of value or something valuable maybe about her. Um, she's going to provide some type of value. The third chakra deals with our solar plexus. Solar plexus chakra deals with Leo energy for me. So this could be a sign that's connected to her somehow. Okay. The sign first chakra, Archangel Michael is here. This is the root chakra, the root chakra, or the base chakra, which is connected to our um, stability, I want to say. Our foundation, the earth, being able to provide for oneself. But I'm also feeling that this is also, I, I, don't, I, I feel something sexual here too. I could be wrong and I have to always allow for that, but I feel something connected to sexual energy as well here, guys. I'm so nervous right now. I'm very, very nervous. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. Jesus. Spirit, show me what's going on here with Carly out. I... 
what's going on spirit any other gifts that i have where i can channel her or reach her please heavenly father allow them to be opened up at this time strength heavy leo stuff heavy leo and virgo energy showing up here courage Jesus, I don't, I just really feel a heavy energy of someone's good heart, someone's big magnanimous heart really just kind of being used against them at this time. I'm seeing the seven of pentacles. And I'm seeing the chariot. The Seven of Pentacles is all about like being patient. It's about um, sometimes waiting to see um, if your efforts or if your resources and stuff that you put into something or a relationship or opportunity or just a project is going to yield the benefits that yield the benefits that you want it to. It's about, I feel like a need for patience. So it's giving me a vibe of it's possible that someone could have like lied, lay, laid in wait, laid in wait. Now we have the chariot here. Chariot can deal with progress and forward movement. Cancer energy showing up, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo with the pentacles. Definitely has things to do with maybe transportation, sometimes like cars and stuff like that. A car is absolutely what has motivated me to even do this reading. I just feel a vibe of waiting to move forward. Waiting to move forward. Waiting to see what was going to happen before moving forward. Anyway, show me more about the hostilities card, Spirit, please. I'm seeing these sphinxes here. Okay, guys. connection something to Egypt something is connected to Egypt here I don't know exactly what guys The next two cards with the hostilities that are coming to clarify this hostilities card, I have the Hermit and the Lovers card. Hermit is Virgo energy. The Lovers is Gemini. The Hermit is all about going inside. It could be a dark night of the soul. It could be becoming a recluse she could man guys I don't know <laughs> Guys, I feel a vibe of underground energy with this hermit card. I've been sitting here staring at the background. I'm seeing mountains. I'm seeing this path that is like, you know, not really traveled or trodden, okay? Wherever she is, she could be in darkness. 
underground i'm just getting heavy underground energy the lover's card lovers usually talks about a choice or a decision so it could be that this decision that she made has landed her underground the lovers could also be about harmony and stuff like that queen of wands energy beautiful attractive fiery passionate An energy of like a lioness, a go-getter, a generous soul, a generous person or woman specifically. I feel like this could be her energy showing up or the energy of someone. I don't know. Somebody else could be connected here. I'm not, obviously. Someone could have a dog. I don't know if this is her. She could have had a dog of some sort. This is also getting so close to, you know, Leo season. Aries or Sagittarius. She could be any one of fire signs. The two of wands. The two of wands is being at a crossroads, having to make a decision. Understanding that the choice that you make, or, or maybe not even really understanding that the choice that you make could alter your life. And there are more mountains. There are more mountains in this in this one. So I'm really feeling like something, a mountainous reason, or at least something with heels, underground tunnels, all this, like, I don't, please, please God. The five of cups flew out of the deck and it's in the reverse. This card is a card about grieving and being, and, and loss and pain and like an energy sometimes of crying over spilled milk was in the when it's in the upright. It's possible that she could have been regretting the decision that she made, or if this is in regards to somebody else connected to her. But I feel more like this was like some type of I already felt like it was a setup before, but with the hostilities card, it really makes me feel like a setup. It, something happened here where I just really feel like something, something could have been strategically set up here. And it's also possible that this is something that she could have been recognizing now or what have you at this time. Spirit, please show me more, yeah. The hermit, I'm also hearing about the hermit energy about like a priest and stuff like this, like, yeah, we have a young child showing up here with the Page of Wands. The child could have been of Leo or some type of fire sign energy. I am seeing the Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man. Guys, I feel heavy witchcraft energy here with this because witchcrafts pay, not witchcrafts, oh my God. Practitioners of the occult and this, uh, the occult can be used for positive or negative gain, period. Understand that. Every day, all day, we are living in something that is dealing with the occult, okay? Right now, every day. The occult just talks about dealing with what is seen and unseen or really the hidden things, so the spiritual, supernatural things. I really feel like there is someone who works with the seasons, who works with nature, the planets, astrology. And they're doing this because it's in alignment with whatever season that they are use, utilizing this energy for. She could be held captive, held bound.
It is possible that she may still be alive, but she is being held prisoner. I'm so sorry, I'm crying because like her life has been changed. Her life has, is changed forever. Let me hurry up and try to finish this reading. Storm warning. Spirit, show me what this storm warning is about, please. There is something coming. There is something brewing. The sun and the three of cups. There is a possibility of some type of happy, something happening here, some type of reunion. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I have no idea why my phone, why my stand just did this. Get it together. You are stronger than this or you should be. Three of Cups tends to talk about something to be happy about, something to be excited about, you guys. Some type of reconciliation or coming back together or just happy feelings. There may be even a memorial. She could very well be like a Leo, like I said. There's something connected to this Leo energy. Something may come out in the month of August about the connection. I'm seeing the nine of swords and I'm seeing the knight of pentacles. A lot of anxiety surrounding this information. Oh. The color red may have been very significant for her. Um, if she has passed away, she could be revealing herself to someone, a seer, a, a person of wisdom. I'm seeing this lady. I don't know if you guys can see in this card. There's a woman in like this red get up, but she kind of looks like she's in the spirit form. Whereas there's this person, you know, up and can't sleep at night. She could be appearing to people who love her, her family, her mom sister someone and we have the knight of pentacles heavy on virgo energy virgo de energy deals with health it can deal with healing the hermit again like i said before it could it could deal with a plan of action or details this is also an energy to me of like slow movement or something is a part of a plan a, a plan of action this could have something to do with like a knight is someone in a like kind of like the military or in some type of ranking some type of ranking official a guard I'm about to get ready to end this, but something is going to be made clear. I'm seeing the page of swords in the reverse. I don't think the news is going to be good. I think it's going to be kind of hard to hear. I definitely feel like it's going to be hard to hear. It could have something to do with dismemberment or just gruesome facts, information. This is not gonna be easy to report or to hear. So I'm going to stop there. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. I'm seeing the 10 of pentacles. So it could have something to do with some form of money or inheritance or something. 
I'm seeing the king of wands. There could be a masculine or a male energy of the Leo, of the Leo um, or Aries or Sagittarius energy involved somehow. A lover, a father figure, someone who calls the shots here. And then we have the Knight of Swords. This was, I feel like this, somebody was focused. Somebody was planned. This was meticulous. Somebody was dispatched with orders. That's the reading. I hope and pray that in time, truth will be more revealed about this, more clear. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which all work together to bring balance and harmony, first within ourselves and then within our world. I don't feel good about this, though. I literally am wanting to cry. So...